How Wolves Changed Rivers In 1995, wolves were reintroduced to Yellowstone National Park after nearly 70 years of absence. It was the beginning of an ecological miracle. Without wolves, elk populations had exploded. They grazed freely, stripping young trees and plants from riverbanks, turning lush areas into barren land. Birdsong faded as trees vanished. Beavers left too. The ecosystem lost its vital builders. Rivers ran faster, erosion carving deeper scars. But when the wolves came back, everything began to change. They didn't eliminate the elk, they kept them moving. Elk stopped lingering in one place. Trees like willows and aspens had a chance to grow again. The forests slowly returned, rich with life. With trees came the beavers. They built dams, which slowed the rivers, reduced erosion, and created wetlands that welcomed fish, birds, and amphibians. Even bears and eagles returned to the revived habitats. Bears fished in rich waters, eagles soared overhead. Once lost, creatures returned, embracing the restored wild and the thriving forest home. This is called a trophic cascade, when one species changes the entire food web and landscape. The wolves didn't just bring balance, they changed the flow of the rivers, renewing the whole ecosystem. The Wolves of Yellowstone, a legacy of life, one paw print at a time.